All right, folks, this is the only way I can get my camera to show the entire suit. I know it's a little funny in the screen. I have both of the hand grips powered to the feet. I have both legs powered. You can see a single cable, not the dual cable design with a return spring. So one of the things you couldn't see in the other videos, and the reason this one's turned sideways, is that you couldn't see how the torso was being realigned at the very end of the completion of the lift. So I'm gonna show you that with this sideways view. You'll be able to watch at the end of the leg straightening out, the very last movement is to straighten out the torso with the uh, cabling system that's on here. So you actually have ankle straightening, you have knees, you have uh, hip straightening, and you have an upper torso alignment, all with this simple cable design. So let me go ahead and try to get this right here. That's the wrong direction for that one. All right, so here we go. Let's align it up. Watch that torso. Okay, both legs. Now the last move, watch it line up right there. You see that torso stand straight up like that? So that's the final move. You're going to do that just to where you're going to want it for comfortability there. I can level it out by doing the other one. That's fully lifting the suit up off the hook up top. I don't know if you can see the line going to the suit up top. It's now bent. Let's bring it down. You notice the first move is to bring down the torso and it brought down that hook. It starts to bend the legs there. Let's do that again. And then it uprights the torso at the very end right there. I hope you can see that. How it's standing the entire suit up right now. You know, watch the wire up here. I've got this is our metal hook right there. You should be able to see how that's lifting the suit up off that hook. Let's try it again. Oh, the wrong way on one and the right way on the other. That's gonna take some getting used to, uh, the controls here. So let's go ahead again. Let's watch the torso. This is the end move of standing up. And it pulls the torso and the suit. If you notice the cables, the way it's aligned, the cables are uprighting the suit and keeping it stabilized. It's not going to be perfectly stabilized. You're going to have to add a little bit to this uh, manually, but very, very little the way this is designed. It actually kind of holds itself up. I mean, that's lifting itself up. You can see how free the upper part of this is moving right now. That cable is not holding onto it very well. It's basically holding itself upright right now, and that is pretty cool to see. So let's try to set it down. All right, so there's the legs up. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the suit now. We're gonna go do a powered walk and lift with it. Okay, equal them out. So there we are, that is a powered upper body exoskeleton. Once again, let's grab it with the other hand. And then we got the can in our hand here. Let's set it back down. And there we go. You should be able to see the hand and the exo in action at a different angle. Let's go ahead and grab that can again. So there we are, we have that soup can. That is a full soup can in my hand. The grip is tough because we've got the winch creating that grip. Let's go ahead and set that soup can down. And there we go, it'll let it go. So folks, Mr. Tesalonian here. I have finished all the construction phase of our exoskeleton suit, as you can see here. We've got it all covered up, nice and painted. Our hands are ready to go and functioning. Let me go ahead and turn to the side so you can see the side profile of the suit here. You can see we put some nice furniture down by the leg down there. Let me go ahead and turn it around. Now you can see the back furniture. I put a nice cover back there, folks. That covers the winches and the electrical system. So that looks pretty nice. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Well, I'll tell you one thing I don't like are these wireless controllers for the feet. They've got a quite a bit of a delay between the time I hit them and when they react. This can be very difficult to learn to pilot, and it's going to take me a lot more than just the last three minutes that I've been in this suit. So let me go ahead and turn around now. I'm trying to focus here, folks. You can see my face kind of aiming downwards. So there we are. The suit is suspending itself. As you can see here, 
My shoulders are not touching in there at all. It's holding itself up.